My name's Richard and I've worked at Calford Cams for 10 years. I do CNC grinding, design and development of products. I did a mechanical engineering degree at uh, Canterbury University. I did that straight from high school. That's where I learned a lot of mechanical design, like CAD, computer-aided design, and a lot of the theory and math and physics behind machinery. Also, yeah, like materials, some machining processes as well. Yeah, that was a four-year degree, and a lot of that time was stuck behind a computer screen or uh, between the pages of textbooks. I'm quite a hands-on practical person and uh, after the four years of that I really wanted to get a hands-on role. Luckily for me, uh, being a petrol head, I've always been into cars. The job popped up for a camshaft grinder using a manual machine at Calford Cams. Luckily I got the job. I did that for about three or so years, like on the tools all day. At that same time I was learning the design of camshafts specifically. After learning how to use the manual grinder and getting pretty familiar with cam profiles, lobe separation and all the cam specs, I then moved into learning the CNC grinding machine. Learning the, learning the CNC machine allowed me to do a lot more programming and also designing of cam lobes and then machining them. Calford Cams is growing and because of that we run a split shift. I'm on the CNC grinding machine for the first four hours of my day and the last four hours of my day uh, I'm in the office on the computer designing new products and also custom profiles that come through. Our main CNC grinding machine is a Shout Cam Grind S and that has two spindles. The main spindle roughs all the lobes down. This small grinding wheel allows us to grind very complicated shapes such as fuel pump lobes and also uh, inverted lobes like on modern roller follower engines. This is a state-of-the-art machine. We're very lucky to have one and yeah it's awesome to work with it every day. So the second half of my day I am spending doing new product development and that involves reverse engineering a factory cylinder head, taking measurements. We can put all of the valve train geometry into our software and then figure out racing profiles to make your guys cars go faster. We've got some very good software so we can put all of the valve spring data in there and all of the valve train geometry in there. We we're able to design both the spring kit and the cam profile to work together perfectly. Because we design, develop and machine camshafts in-house, we're able to control the quality of the product. This helps us to create great quality products and because of that we've got a lot of success on the racetrack. The team of people at Calford Cams have a really good eye for detail. The guys out in the workshop are always striving for perfection of the machining. I also strive for perfection of products straight from the design phase and I try to emphasize to carry that right through to the end product. We spend a lot of time on product planning to make sure that they are going to be perfect and you can see that with our results in cars all over the world. This is the perfect job for me. It's got a great balance of hands-on practice practical work but also design which I love both parts. Also the, the team at Calford Cams, they're a great bunch of people. Everyone here is a bit of a petrol head. It's a great environment to work in. Calford is continuing to bring more and more processes and machining in-house. We are going to have more and more control of our products and they are going to only get better and better. And it's really exciting at the moment for Calford Cams because we've got a new CNC machine on the way and we've got plenty of new products in the pipeline to help you guys go faster.